I'm no culturally, I am, I am African. Do you know what I mean? I accept that. My parents are actually Guyanese. A lot of people think I'm Jamaican, but I'm not. I got a bit of Jamaican blood on a machete because they're quite rough out there, I'll keep it real. But we are here in the UK, ladies and gentlemen, because at the end of the day, you know, they did colonize, you know. Being in Britain means that you've got the best of everything when you're British. It means you've got the best of everything, doesn't it? It is British, eh? To drive a German car to an Irish pub. To drink Belgian beer while sitting on Swedish furniture. Eating an Indian takeaway while watching an American program on a Japanese TV. It don't get no better than that on the planet. So please, ladies and gentlemen, continue to support these kind of things, because if we don't do it for ourselves, nobody else is going to do it for us. Thank you very much and good night. Let me start by thanking all of you for honoring the invitation to join us to celebrate our achievements while we share our vision for promoting Kenya globally. Our media interest emanated from Ken. You can actually see him there, my dear husband. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ken, his creative skills is exemplary. And his creative skills and my passion for media gave us the starting point to fill the media gap that we faced as Kenyans. Even with the undeniable challenges, we have risen above. OB TV and Ben TV, they gave us an opportunity, and now we are taking the opportunity ourselves. Uh, thank you, Ken, for being a dear husband and trusting me to lead the initiative. <laughs> this year has been our best. We have covered amazing events like the Queen's Diamond Jubilee at the WISA Council, the Kenya Olympic project where we were honored to be the media for His Excellency Mwai Kibaki at the Martian House hosted by the Lord Mayor. Fantastic showcase at the Kenya House sponsored by KCB. Barclays Back Ping It launch, Jamuhuri Day celebration through the Kenya High Commission, among many other groundbreaking achievements. We also relaunched our TV program on Sky 191 every Tuesday 8 p.m. I hope all of you are watching. Thank you very much. So you can agree with me that it has been a wonderful and eventful year for UK TV. The Kenya Films and Fashion Initiative came to our mind after attending so many premieres of Bollywood and Hollywood movies, and we thought, what about Kenya? We observed how the diaspora is shaping these two industries, and hence we challenged ourselves. Kenyans are resourceful people, and we are going to build these economies that will be a global phenomenon with your support. Where are we at the moment? At the moment, like now, as you can see, v, through the Kenya Film Club, we are looking for strategic partners who can work with us in our journey of telling Kenyan stories differently. Projects that are already in the oven right now include the Face of Kenya UK. Some of the projects that we have already working with, we've already identified partners. We are having Mask. Ella, the director of Mask, and Kenya Community Rebuild has also got a special need project. I know a lot of you have seen Kenya Community Rebuild as doing some church events, but what you don't know is that they are actually helping special need children back in Kenya, and those are the kind of projects we want to put our hands on. Islamic Relief, and I know a lot of people here Islamic, they think, wow, but Islamic Relief is actually doing a lot of good work with refugees and farmers in arid areas. Areas that people never reach, but yet Islamic Relief have actually gone there. Murani International is represented here by a wonderful gentleman. I think Alan is here. Thank you very much. That's one of the charities doing good work back home, and we need to recognize that. Yeah. The we, you have seen the work we've done with the People who come here with children home, you hear they've got children home, like the other day on my TV program, we had a lady who got 300 children. She moved from her Kileleshwa home to live in Gong, just to make sure she's housing 300 children. Isn't that amazing? 
<laughs> and those are the kind of things we need to put our hands on. We've got our own S, our home. She's working on a project eradicating jiggers. And this project is, because she's the Miss Runner-up of uh, Miss Commonwealth, she's running that project. She's collecting shoes all over Tuskies, giving to people who don't have shoes. Those are the projects that you don't hear. But how many pairs of shoes have you got in your house that you can actually give up to people who don't have shoes? Another project that we were about to launch is theater and film. We are recruiting for actors and actresses who are based here. So as if you know you've got that talent, you come out. I don't have the money to pay you, but together we have a talent that people are going to find worth investing in. So the film screening and fashion shows will also extend to different towns and even schools all promoting Kenya, becoming good ambassadors of our motherland. Yes, the film you showed today is for adult viewers, but you do have a lot of other films done in Kenya that will be very suitable to be shown in different schools that will be very powerful to tell the Kenyan story differently. So from today, we are opening our avenues of communications, regular meetings, if you like, filming schedules, networking groups, whatever you might want to say, but we want to be there, and we want to be there with you. So our dream is to have a Kenyan TV station. Do you think it's possible? Yeah. Yes. We aim to have a Kenyan TV channel, do you, and we can do it. So, because all of us, if we put our hands together, I know you know somebody who wants to advertise. You might not have the money, but you might have the connections. And those are the connections that we need to help us do the job. I'm sure you see the event like today. It's full, we are full, but yes, a lot of money has gone in, a lot of planning has gone in. Most likely, in my family, we've been left without a pocket. But what we've been going home with is a room full of people, happy, celebrating, proud to be Kenyan. And that, you can't pay a price to that. Yeah. We've had supporters, and I would like to say that the Kenya High Commission has been using our services for a long time, and we appreciate that. Kemunta Fashions has been really supporting our initiative. Thank you very much. Martin and Rose Solicitors, they've been supporting our initiative. I appreciate it. Sakoma, Extreme Travel, and many more have come and they have said, yes, we know UKNTV can do it and we are giving our support. And I know there are many of you sitting there thinking, what can I do? And sometimes it's maybe, only maybe, a 10 pounds a month that will make the difference in the way we do our programs. So I'm going to say that as we head forward, as we go to 2013, we've got exciting things in mind for young people, for young children, as you've had Face of Kenya UK, young girls and boys are looking to just recognize their Kenyans. And what can we do to give them that kind of recognition? Yes, you're Kenyan. So I think we all owe it to ourselves to bring something to the generations coming in future. Because otherwise, you're going to have kids, black British, <laughs> and you don't want to hear your son and your daughter saying, I'm black British, and that's it. It would be nice for them to say, I'm black British, but yes, my origin is Kenya, and I know what Kenya is. So. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to talk more. I'm going to say that some of the talent you saw here today, you probably have not heard of them. And they are waiting for you to come out to support them. So that is what we are talking about. Kenyans from all walk of life, all walk of life in the UK coming out to enjoy this time with us. So I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going to say that if there's any way you feel you can support us, we're asking for it. But I don't want you to come out every time to support because today was not about support. Today was about celebrating Kenyan and celebrating in the Kenyan style. So thank you very much.